Okay, so I will start with XRP and uh, let's just have a look at it's hit it's hit the the 365 target that I was looking to take profit so I took profit at 365 I think there's a good chance it could still hit 35.5 or so um, but what I'm going to do is have a bit of a, a bit of a, a zoom I'm zooming in now and then I'm going to zoom out and just show you my logic of, of what I think is well what it what is playing out and then where are the possibilities yeah so you can see here uh, this ascending channel here yeah um, this one here so um, we're having the breakdown and now we've now we've we've topped out in this channel and you can see that we're starting to head down bottoming out of this channel so I think we're going to bottom out somewhere here and possibly head back up and have a touch at this channel again yeah um, or else at least get to uh, 38 39 or so <clears throat> um, so that's 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 what I'm looking at so I'm going to explain my my, my, my logic on that yeah um, but what I'm doing I'm gonna look at the bigger picture so when I when I zoom out a little bit more is you can see this consolidation pattern here yeah so potentially and again you can see look at it bottomed out here came back up set a range did a lower low did a oh went off the screen okay did a actually didn't do a lower low here my oh no it did do a lower low here it came up did a higher high could it come up and do another higher high it, it could but at the moment it's heading down higher high and potentially you can see that we're looking it broke the point of control here back tested it and we're dropping down and you can see that <clears throat> the lower value line here is at 3550 so I think we're definitely going to be heading for 3550 uh, today or so now what it decides to do here on this higher high if we're going for lows we're going to look like we're going to start to head head on down and hit another bottom in this channel because you can see you can see you can see that there's a channel here here's a touch one two three and four down here yeah uh, however however if if it wants to be done here this green line here is also on this move here when you put the fibs on it is you got the 05 also at 3560 so for sure I think there's a good chance <clears throat> we could hit 3560 today um, and we're hitting this this support line here on this consolidation range um, is it is possible today we could just drop down lower and start going down and hit bouncing off to the, the golden pocket and the reason why I might suggest that is if it wants to go down and do this uh, do a fuller correction we get a bounce off the golden pocket we get a lift back up to the 382 or so uh, and then a touch on down to the 786 that would be a, that would be a, a, a full correction of this move and then all the way down yeah it could happen is I definitely see a 3560 or so uh, I'm not so sure about going any further today but it does the daily looks absolutely spilly and fantastic the dailies look great for a spill but the stochastic on the on the hourlies is, is screaming bullish divergence yeah so it seems like we're going to get a touch down to here and then we might start to head back up in this smaller channel yeah and move moving in waves yeah so it bouncing off the zero five on the golden pocket here still leaves the door open for a a breakup a let me just zoom out a little more here yeah I know there's a lot of channels here but bear with me is it still it still leaves in in this greater see there's this consolidation range that I just talked about it's here 
it's this consolidation. There's the, the drop sets a range, there's a lower low, here's the higher high. Normally it comes down and does a lower low, so potentially we were looking at this, but again it'll move in it'll move in waves. However, here's another consolidation range, the much bigger one on the daily, and you can see that here's the it drops, drops here, sets the range, lower low, higher high. Didn't do a lower low, drop down. So if this is the bottom, and we're not gonna break lower, is dropping down to the zero five here, could be the final move before we start to get higher highs and breaking out of this much bigger, of this much bigger channel. Not on the daily, yeah. Of of this much bigger channel here, yeah? And you can see that you've got the one, two, three, four, five. Now we don't have the, we don't have the third touch to the, to the bottom here. Again, not unless, not unless you wanna do one, two, three, four, five. No, it's still the same. We still don't have our, our third touch to the bottom of the channel yet. Yeah. Equally, you can see this is the, the bottom of the previous bear market. Three levels up, one level, two level, three levels, and three levels down. And at the moment, we've got one level and we've got two levels. So to me, I think we're heading down, but um, I, I, I listened to very few other uh, uh, TA guys and uh, some of them are, are saying that we're bottomed out and we're, we're very close to a breakup. So the straight answer is I don't know. But I'm looking at the I'm looking at the consolidation range here. And again, you can see it, it came up, it rejected the, the higher uh, value level here. It came back down, it is on the daily, it came back down, bounced off the point of control here, the red line, when you zoom in, is it this this is the day where it broke uh, it back tested the point of control and is breaking down from it today so you can see that the rejection down breakthrough back tests rejection rejection down quite possible we might need to go back and back test it again yeah at the end it does look like that um but you can see how potentially we, we are heading for our lower low on, and I'll show you this way, yeah? This could be our lower low on this channel. So one, two, three, four. And we get a little back test here, and then we get our lower low to this channel. And this would take us, this would take us down to our, our, our bottom here, yeah? Um, potentially, potentially, and that would give us our our third level down, yeah, um, and then we would have our lift out of it. We'd have our lift out of it, and we'd be on our we'd be on our way, we'd be on our way, something like that, yeah. Um, so, so a lot depends on the zero five thirty five fifty one is how it behaves at the zero five here, yeah. Uh, is we may get our bounce and our lift. Is after that range wise is putting again the fibs on this is is having a drop down and it doing a fuller correction to the 786 which would are a little bit below because sometimes it does that it would take us on to you can see the daily uh, consolidation uh, pattern here it would take us down onto the lower volume range here at yeah, the support line here so that would give us a fuller correction here and again, is depending on how it all wants to behave, potentially a back test, and how this back test behaves, um, again, will give us another indication about whether we're, we're heading on up or we're going to spill on down. So they're the they're the levels that I'm that I'm that I'm watching for on the on the bigger scheme of things. Yeah. Now there's a there is a tendency there is a tendency for. You can see that you can see the spill here is that once this once this gets this is the last final bottom yeah is we get the bottom here you get the last lift up and then you get the drop down 
you can see there's a tendency that the last couple of days here, this is like two or three days, it can be it can be a big move, yeah. Um so so yeah. So the question is, if you look at this, is was this the big drop down? We just didn't have the big lower low. Was this the big drop down here? Anyway, no, I'm not even gonna go there because I'm just guessing too much, yeah. But you can see you can see what I'm watching for, yeah. You can see what I'm what what what, what I'm thinking, and that would give us our third level down, yeah. So that's to me that's 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 a, a clear potential. So how how price action behaves on the zero five of this thirty five fifty. Uh, what it does after this is this one I'm saying I think it could drop down and do and do a bigger drop to the golden pocket here and really exhaust itself today and then head on back up. It could it could do that and back test the the point of control again, yeah. Uh, before potentially heading down lower. It, it absolutely could do that. Um, so so now when I zoom in again so you can see the bigger play of things yeah so just at a local level again this this bear flag is playing out and we're looking at it at bottoming up at this range um, and then from there <coughs> excuse me uh, I reckon I will be looking for a a, a long position and again, taking us back up to um, either the center line here at 38, but I do believe it'll go further and probably take us back up to around the 30, 30, 39.5 to 45 mark, the 40.5 40, 40 mark, oh, up to here, yeah. Somewhere up, somewhere up here. Um, and again, this is the question is, if it's the 0 0.5, we could be heading up here a little bounce back and then a break out of this. We have our one, two, three, four, five, and then up it goes. Well, it'll be four touches, and we break on up. Yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Um. So, so now I'm going to show you this. So, what happened last night on the turn of the day? The six day, the six week turn. Excuse me. This is the six six week. Again, you might be wondering why is he showing us the six week? Because it turned and they're really in play at the moment, yeah. So you can see the five is gone sideways, the ten is is coming down like a hammer. Twenty EMA is coming down. We're below the medial line here. Here's the twenty floating above above here, yeah, at sixty-six. At some point we're gonna hit here, yeah. This is gonna be a test at some point. Um so now you can see the VWAP. The VWAP's gone sideways at the moment, yeah? <clears throat> now I'm going to zoom backwards. The, 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 the five week didn't turn, the five week turned last week. And just to show you, look at what the five, the five and ten are doing. Uh, and the VWAP's open to turning down there, yeah? But look what the five and ten are doing on, on the five week. Is, and that turned last week. The monthly, the start of the month, is have a look at the five and ten on the monthly. And again, the VWAP sort of holding it up a little bit at the moment. Look at the five and ten. So you can see now we go to the three week. The three week I think turned in the last week as well. I believe it was when, when was it? The thirteenth. No, no, no. Excuse me. Yesterday, today <laughs> is what did the three week do? I'll call the five turned down on the three week. Is the ten the ten went sideways slightly up? VWAP is sharply down on the three week, and there's the medial line here of, of the Bollinger, yeah. And if you look here, the twenty EMA and the twenty MA again are starting to break the fifties, and here's the Bollinger here, and there's price action. So you can see that that the the three week is open to a spill as well, yeah. Now the two week, again you can see that. The five is is gone slightly up, but look how sharp the VWAP is down. Look at the ten and the twenty coming down, and here's the medial line on, of the Bollinger the center line. Yeah, so these are all these are all these are all big moves. Yeah, and then the weekly, which turned again last night, is you can see 
you can see again the VWAP is continuing down. The five was coming up with the, the five on the weekly is after turning down and is following the 20, and the 10 is after turning down, or well, gradually gliding there. You can't say it turned down. And then the, the medial line of the VWAP are the Bollinger's down as well. Yeah. So if you look at the bottom of the Bollinger on the daily, it's at 32.63. I really wouldn't be surprised if the Fecker just dropped and did, did, a, did a bit of a dump today. Maybe, 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 maybe not, you know. Um, is is for sure I can see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really can. <laughs> well, maybe, in, sorry, maybe, in the, maybe within the week. This is the weekly, not the daily. My apologies. Uh, but you can see the point about what I'm saying about the turn. Here's the rejection on the on the Bollinger on the the weekly is it's breaking through the medial line so it look, tested the medial line is is today it's breaking through the medial line is is generally that means if it continues to break we're heading to the bottom of the Bollinger on the weekly we're probably a bit of a week through uh, but we'll see but you can see the way everything is turning for, for sure to me it's when I look at this, it's hard to imagine um, that we're going to break out of this, that we're going to have this massive pump. But again, this is where everything gets a bit tricky with market makers. Um, market makers can sort of turn it any way they want, when they want, you know. Um, but at the moment, that's the way it looks. So now, then the da just the daily turned uh, last night. And again, if you look at the daily, imagine this was looking on a, at an hourly and or any timeline and you saw the orange the five just cutting through all the ma's here is you would call this a breakout and it's cutting through all these and it cut through the 50. so here's the five not price action but the five ma broke the 50 on the daily the 50 ma in the daily if you saw that on any timeline you'd be going oh this looks like it's gonna go you would be you, you would be calling that yeah but again, I think there's a good chance that we'll we'll we'll, we'll bottom out here because the hourly stocks are getting exhausted, uh, and we we're going to need to come back up and, and take a breather. Is potentially coming back up and testing the twenty here again at thirty nine ninety four or the two hundred. See see the way that's the, see the red one here is the two hundred. Since it broke to two hundred, it hasn't back tested it, so it's probably a good chance there is thirty nine sixty or so. It's probably a good chance it'll come back and back test to two to 200 uh, or so yeah um but we'll see but you can you can see what i'm thinking yeah um so now at the moment the the, the 10 hour yeah there's the 10 hour there's the 10 hour across there uh, 30 minutes ago and again you can see the five is breaking the 200 on the 10 hour so it does look like there's a there's a bit of a push on for the rest of the rest of the day yeah Um, I won't. I won't zoom any more because I'll show you this. I think this is this is this is where. Actually, I'll show you this first. I'll show you the. I'll show you the divergence. So on the daily, down here, bottom left, bottom right, even, is I was saying for the last week or so that the RSI on the on the daily I think needs to bottom out. So today looks like the day where it's going to bottom out. And the bearish divergence down here will bottom out, yeah. So now, I think there's a good chance that either the turn of the day will turn, or at the end of the day we'll get our turn. That's one thing that we could get this bloody long drop with a, a long rejection wick, and then we head back up. We could we could get that, yeah. And um, so now, I want to also prepare then for the next swing, which I think is coming, because there's a bunch of bear our bullish divergence now so top right is the one hour okay that's the one hour i'm going to talk about that in another chart in, in, briefly in a minute here's the bottom left is the two hour the three hour there's there's uh, bullish divergence there the four hour in the blue box here the four hour again but now let's start to go on up through the timeline to see how not how far this goes the bullish divergence uh, the six hour has bullish divergence, but yet look price action has collapsed. The eight hour, again, the eight hour has it. The nine hour has it. The 
Here's the 10 hour with it there. You can see it's having all these bullish divergences, but yet price action keeps. And there's the 12 hour. One on the 12 hour. I think there was a little one on the 12 hour, but it's after it disappeared. Yeah. But you can see how deep, like look how deep the 12 and 18 hour are, are below are below the line, yeah. Um, in the over the, the oversold. And so we are we are pretty close to 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 the bottom, yeah. Um, so now on the stock is on the daily. Again, here's the 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 stock again is bottoming out here. And you can see the level that is coming to top top left. You can see the level that is coming to here. You can see this. You see this here, here. So again, we're in this space here, um, and again the RSI. Uh, as I was saying, looks like once the bottom out, we get it. We get a lift back up. Yeah. On the two day, again the two day. The stock is pushing itself down as well. Three days turn. You can see they're all turned, yeah. Um, here's the weekly. This box, bottom right, the second one. This is the weekly. You can see there's a bit of a turn down here, yeah. Um, this is the six day here. This is the five day. So you see they're all they're all turned, yeah. Now this one here is very interesting because look, this is the monthly. And um, at the moment, it's after taking a little bit of a turn down there, yeah. Um, so that is very interesting. That's that even that's taken a turn, yeah. Um, okay, so so now uh, if we zoom in to the shorter time frame, so top left is the hour. So the hour, the hour up here is uh, again. You can see that it's turning down. I might have a push down here. Bottom bottom left is the two hour. Again, that's bottoming out. The three hours bottoming out on the stock. Four hours bottoming out. So again, we could get the rest of the day pushing down a, a little bit more. Um, so now let's go up through the stocks there. Here's the six hour again. Look, it's already done a couple of waves. Six hour looks like it's getting ready to bottom out. Again, eight hour, nine hour. You can see them all. You can see them all getting 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 exhausted. Yeah. There's the there's the twelve hour, and again look at the RSI also is bottomed out, and then the eighteen hour as well. Yeah. So, so we got to see we got to see what can happen here. Yeah. So potentially, I'm going back to the daily for the moment. Potentially, we could get this RSI on the daily taking a turn back up here. Yeah, and then turning around and we get a much bigger dump coming down here, and. On the RSI, it's one of the things I'm watching for for this later. If the RSI goes down, gets a little lift and comes down and drops and does a a bullish divergence uh, over the next week or so, but that bullish divergence turns into a much bigger dump. And why am why am I why am I saying that? Is back to this chart when I zoom out potentially. Are three levels is one level two level is the third level we could be getting something like this moving here and just get it just get a sharp shock boom down it goes um, and we, we get our dump and it can happen pretty fast yeah um, so that's what I'm looking at potentially the one day the one day uh, Doing a lift like this, turning around and then dumping because it's done it before. So that's that's it. If it wants to flip, is is the stocks the stocks start to turn up and we just get a pump. But it's hard to imagine at the moment because they've all turned down. Even the weekly is turned down, and then the monthly is turned down at the moment. So there is a lot of pressure. The only way I can see that pumping is that market makers just just flip it on its head and they they just pump it. Doesn't matter what the TA says. If the market makers want to pump it, they're going to pump it. Um, so this is the last one that I'm going to point out now. So on this pattern here on the hourlies, you can see that there's a on this uh, bear trend all the way down. You can see that on the one hour when you get a real pump up uh, to this red line here on the one hour, it's setting up a dump. 
every time it sets up a dump of between 20 to 40 percent. Yeah. And then it has this re uh, lifting lifting cycle, uh, uh, where you can see you can see it, it bottoms out and it goes through this wave. You know before it sets up uh, another another dump and a pump. Yeah. So at the moment on this cycle, on this cycle, you can see this yellow line here is. Uh, on the one hour, the one hour finds it much more difficult to go into the oversold than it does the overbought. The, 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 over, the overbought, here's the oversold line here, it pumps up pretty high in that pretty easily. But in the oversold here, it, it finds it much more difficult to get down lower, yeah? So at the moment it's doing it, it it's touching this line a bunch of times, yeah? So if you look at this previous, um, pattern here yeah is it touches it touches it here so look at it the, there's the 50 and the 200 EMA here's the 50 and the 200 so it looks like we're in this spill so you can see that you, the drop down it looks like we're in this spill and potentially again the same thing but different so I don't want to get too caught up in this but you can see all this sideways here you can see the sideways here Look, you get a drop a little lift and then the final spill down and then it starts to turn so it looks like we're doing something similar here where we're getting our we're in our final drop down here and uh, before again the daily bottoms out and all the the bullish divergence on the hourlies takes over and we start to get a lift here and um, we get the the 50 breaking through the 200 again and we get this lift and one of the things i'm looking for is a spike like this so you see if if we start to get from this move here the hourly starts to go up and um break up this high it is generally when it gets up to this red line or so is we're looking at a dump of between 20 to 40 percent um now this this may be different is there's other people calling for this the bottom and we're breaking up and we're going to all-time highs um, and we're on that phase of starting to lift up rather than dump down so that, that this whole pattern could get broken here this is exactly where you know if it's going to break it's got, the pattern is going to break here it needs to break somewhere so this is the end of a big this is this is the end of a of of this consolidation range and i wanted to point out to you actually here you can see you can see this the consolidation range break here and dump, dump. here we are at the we're at the end of the consolidation range here, so again, we're either breaking up or again, we're coming down. Yeah. Um, where was I here? What chart was I on? Ah, my apologies. So, so now I'm looking at this, and we're 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 bottoming out here. So the question is, is when this turns. And this turns and it starts to lift. I'll be looking for the 50 to cross over the 200 here on the on the hourly, and even more so, I'll be looking for the one hour stop to really top out like this. If I see the one hour topping out like I'm going to look to go long, but when I see the one hour topping out like this, I'm going to be looking to catch the top here um, and to take a short, and I will have a minimum target of 20 percent, a minimum target of 20 percent drop. Yeah. Um, We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's that's me for now. So if I was to zoom in and say, what am I looking for for now? Is I'm looking to see. I'm looking to see where the daily. This is on the one hour now. I'm looking to see where the daily bottoms out, because I think we need to see on the daily the RSI button button left here. I think we need to see the RSI break the bottom here on the daily uh, and then the net tomorrow I think we get the turn and we get the, we get the lift up yeah um, and that we've broken this uh, could it spill more yeah could could the could could there be a reset of the stocks and just continues on down yes and we just have scream and bearish divergions for another bunch of days we, we could absolutely do, do that but I'm um, what I'm watching for right now is is for the daily to bottom out um, and to look for a reversal pattern for a lift up. 
So that's what I think is going to do. Um, follow, follow the. I'm going on to the early now. Yeah. Is I'll be looking to follow. If it does turn, is I'll be looking for to follow the the one hour all the way up, all the way up to uh, about ninety three into the over into the overbought up over the 90, 90 mark and that will be screaming for a, a short yeah okay so that's that's me um we gotta just watch to see how how this bottoms out what, what way it wants to play yeah okay so uh i leave it there <laughs>